soundtracking your evening drive home with the best mix of new and current international sounds only on 94.3 Radio 1. On Drive Mumbai this hour, we platform another voice that is working to give Mumbai back its nightlife. We have a spokesperson from Mumbai Unite today, Nisha Harale, while she takes us through how this movement is hoping to address issues like the increased crackdown on patrons in pubs and clubs and the manhandling of the same, the damage that it's doing to the social and cultural fabric of Mumbai City. Well, you're right, except my chat that I had with her earlier this evening. Nisha, thank you so much for joining us on Drive Mumbai this evening. Hi, Erika. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. I would like to say that I'm getting ready to party tonight, but uh, that's not the case, is it? <laughs> the case. I tell you, it, it's the bad city planning that's caused the entire confusion. The fact that these citizens who want their night sleep, um, there are many citizens who want to go out just like you and me. And uh, the bar and establishment people who actually build the structure, getting so many licenses and paid so much of money, are still in question. So, until uh, the confusion is solved, I don't think it's going to be for anyone. You are one of uh, Mumbai citizens who have initiated this whole Mumbai United movement. Okay, and yes. I, I just checked it on Facebook. It says, you know, you want to unite like-minded people. You want to create a voice against the breach of their fundamental rights. All of that has been included. Why did you decide to take up this cause, Nisha? You know, four years ago, I'd gone to visit a friend at a club, uh, basically to wish him happy birthday, just 15 minutes before the place would shut down. Right. And the next thing I know, I was um, strip-checked because there was a raid that happened. You were strip so that's checked. when strip check, like literally taken off my clothes, uh, along with other people. Mm. So um, that's when there were a lot of questions raised as to why this is happening. Um, you know, are my human rights being violated, right. and are these uh, raids allowed? You know, mm. and um, should they be conducted in such way? Correct. And that's when we, um, you know, started going deeper into the matter. I started a page called Rave Against Corruption, wherein we were telling people how to party wise and save, and which parties to attend and not to attend. You know, right. and finally it came to a point where it was not about parting wise or safe because ultimately it's being at the wrong place at the wrong time and now the outdated laws are being pulled on us. So it's not about the nightlife anymore. I think it's more about our freedom mm -hmm. and it's more about our human rights. Mm -hmm. And you know, all these laws that are being pulled out at night can be merely pulled out even during the day. Well, what does Mumbai Unite hope to achieve at the end of it all? We're going to get answers to that from Nisha Harale when we get back on Drive Mumbai. Radio Drive Mumbai with Erica. We're tracking your evening drive home with the best mix of new and current international sounds only on 94.3 Radio 1. Well, it's the voice of Mumbai Unite on Drive Mumbai this Friday night. It's a movement that is gaining momentum even as we speak. Already 800 likes on their Facebook page. To further elaborate on their agenda, let's bring back Nisha Harale. She's spokesperson of the Mumbai Unite movement. Tell me, what does Mumbai Unite hope to achieve at the end of all of this? Mumbai Unite started basically to cause awareness amongst the people like you and me who are like to go out to understand their laws, their human rights better and also to gather a lot of signatures for our petition mm -hmm. uh, wherein we can basically um, ask these questions that we are confused with mm -hmm. to us, to our government. Right. Um, there is a huge market wherein people like to go out. Mm -hmm. So basically, uh, we want our places. We love our places. Uh, we want to ask our government if they can have a separate entity for these kind of places. Also ask our government about our human rights because they've been violated over, over these past few weeks, if you see. Um, uh, keeping in mind that tourism is also shit, you know, and Mumbai is a cosmopolitan city and the whole world is both that. So the whole idea of getting this petition together is getting uh, people to sign in and ask our government all these questions. You'll be petitioning the Chief Minister to rectify and or terminate a recent infringement on fundamental human rights. That's, that's what your that's Mumbai correct. Unite says. Okay, we had a gentleman yesterday online, Mr. Ashok Pandit. Yeah. And uh, yeah. he also stands for uh, another part of Mumbai City. Citizens who have been directly affected by uh, pubs and clubs who are actually practicing way outside their permissible uh, limits. And yeah. uh, the one thing that both of you seem to agree on is that, yes, you need a special area to be demarcated for a place where pubs and clubs and, and restaurants can coexist without uh, affecting uh, the, the citizens. A hundred percent. You know, we we one of those groups who actually went and met the citizens of Ash Ashok Pandit and team uh, to understand where they also come from because ultimately it's not a war between citizens here. Mm -hmm. It is a bad city planning. 
mm-hmm. and uh, we need answers to it all you know they are doing their own petition as citizens who are getting disturbed in their own way and we are doing our own petition as uh, the youth the citizens who love going out but at the same time you know till the entertainment zone happens the so ones with the legal permissions and licenses that the establishment hold i think they should be okay to operate you know within laws and within you know all the limits that they hold but the current laws of the land only allow you to party till about 1:30 every night which i think is crazy you know because the whole world including the the uae is partying till like 4 o'clock in the morning so you you obviously would like that to change as well and you can't figure out why of it course, is yeah. it's affecting a lot of artists that are coming to india so if you look at it in ways of economy i think it brings in a lot of money We're going to be back with Nisha Harale, spokesperson for the Mumbai Unite movement, to chat more on the social and cultural divide that I think is adding fuel to the fire. Stay with us. This is ninety four point three Radio One. Radio One. Drive Mumbai with Erica. We are enjoying back to back of the best mix of new and current international sounds only on ninety four point three Radio One. Now, Nisha Harale, spokesperson for the Mumbai Unite movement, is with us on Drive Mumbai tonight, talking about how they are working towards petitioning the government to change its our. Archaic laws that inevitably have been used to harass patrons at pubs and clubs also have affected the hospitality industry in a major way and breached fundamental civic rights. She believes of Mumbaiers. Let's bring her back on again to wrap up our conversation. There seems to be, uh, you know, uh, a thought process here where the so-called party places, the pubs and the clubs, etc., are also, you know, um, instigating immoral activities, illegal activities in terms of drugs, in terms of, you know, prostitution, and so on and so forth. Um, Erica, so- those are topics that. Are debatable because ultimately we have we are we are as a country don't want to talk about AIDS and look at where our country is gone. I mean, if you're talking about drug abuse, it's a worldwide problem, and you're handling a problem uh, with such uh, you know a drastic way. I think it's not going to solve it. So you believe so just by merely shutting down establishments, it's not going to take the it's problem away? It's not going to help because if you really want to clean up the city, let's start from the railway track. You know, I've been talking to you. Uh, I've been talking to a gentleman called Ashok Pandit yesterday as well, and uh, there, there are so many issues. You know, when you mix elements. of the errant pubs and clubs and restaurants lax enforcement of laws uh, with respect to licenses and permits you know dated laws corruption at, at uh, every level high handedness of the cops socio cultural divides it's a mess that people like you anisha who've actually taken the initiative to go out and do something is commendable truly so thank you so much for for sharing your story with us and thank you so much for for giving us your time thank you erica